Olá, amigos. That means, hi, friends. Let's see right now what's the structure behind what I have here, what's the data we have, and then you can replicate on your site uh, something similar, or you can use on your data. But let me explain what I have right here. We can see this app, and this app is an inventory manage management app I'm building with some students that I'm doing private lessons. Okay, we have a home screen with the list of inventories, the list of parts that compose an inventory. So one inventory can have these parts right here. The parts have a description, that's a name actually, the part name, the size, a model, and a class. And we have a list of inventories that represents the locations is the same as we saw in the home screen the list of inventories here so here we can have all the inventories that we want our app to manage for example we have three locations and these locations in the future will have parts associated to them the app's in construction is in a very very early stage but for the gallery we already have enough here Let's see what we have as the data source behind it. Here we can see in the data sources of my app, I have three tables. Those are Dataverse tables. For the parts, the table that we are going to use, it's called Inventory Parts. Don't worry if you don't have a Dataverse, you can use a SharePoint list or even an Excel file or what, whatever source of data you have connected on your app. That's my case. If I click here on edit data, I can see what the data I have on my table. So we have a description, a class, a model, a size, and a picture that represents the picture of the object. Also, there is one that's another column that I'm not showing here. Let me just get it. It's the name. No, it's showing. It's actually here in the left. It was hidden here. So I also have the name. I'm not showing the item description, just name, class, model, size, and picture in my gallery. And those are the columns I'm going to use in the lessons. Okay, so here this gallery is already implemented with all the configurations we need to make it fit the width of the screen accordingly. But I'm going to create this gallery from scratch in a separate screen just for you to see the process if you don't know how to create a gallery and also the labels that will represent the headers of the gallery. This gallery looks like a table and we have this header that is composed of several labels. But I'm just going to create from scratch without any configuration. And then in the next class, we are going to learn about containers and what they are used for because we are going to use them in this uh, example that I'm going to be teaching through the playlist. So let me create a blank screen. So I'm going to screen and create a blank screen here. And then I'm going to create the labels that will mean the headers of the gallery. So we have this label and we have the names, the, the text inside the label. The first one is item. Let me just check in the previous screen. Uh, description that actually is name so I just change it would just change to name here just to make it make sense name size model and class returning to my new screen called screen one let me insert other labels so name change the text to name size another label called model and the last one called size okay size size you can also construct on your on your side with your data because in the end we are going to reuse these labels to build the end result okay as a good practice it's good to rename things because the name right now, for example, this one is label seven. It doesn't mean anything 
So I will call LBL item title. Let me now rename the second label to LBL name title. Name just lost its text inside its. Uh, third label, LBL size title. In this case, I already have a label with this name in the other screen. So let me do, let me make it with a different name. So LBL size. I, um, item size title, item size title. Okay. Let, next one, LBL item model title and then item name size model and class this one is class it didn't change before maybe i typed too fast okay class so let's call it lbl item class title okay Now that we have the labels with the names, I suggest you to put the same names because when you're going to follow the example, you have the same names as I have, so the formulas will match. Now let's insert a gallery to show the data. So I'm going to go to Insert, Vertical Gallery, and the gallery will appear here. Let me just position below the titles, resize it a little, and then let me connect to my data source that in my case is called inventory parts. Okay, it already brought me the information, some of them, the name and the description and the picture, the image. So very good that I don't need to connect to those. I already have, I don't need to insert them, but actually uh, I won't use the description here. I'm going to use the size, model, and class. So I will copy this, I will move this below the size. This one I will move below the name, just align in this way right now, not using any formula, but in the future we are going to be using to make it adapt every time we resize the screen. And let me bring the values I actually want. So instead of this item dot item description, I'll put this item dot size. If you don't know much how a gallery works, I will put a video here in the card somewhere in the top for you to link and watch it and understand better because it's a very important concept in every apps. Okay, let me insert a new label. I will copy from this one, so I will copy and paste and then put below the model and just change to this item dot model. Okay, one last time, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and then below the this item, below the class, I will put this item dot class. Okay, there is this icon here to select the item in the gallery. I will just keep as the example, just leave it here because in the future we will want to edit this part, right? So we already have all the fields we need and we are able to see all the data in our gallery, okay? The labels are just misaligned. I can select all of them, right click, and then I have here align, align top, for example, See, so they will align in the top. Then I can move them and they, will, they are aligned right now because all of them are selected, okay? Very good, we have this gallery. It's a fixed size. Uh, it doesn't adapt to the width of the screen. We need to make it adapt. So uh, we can see in the next video, these things related to making adapt to the width. And also we can see that this app is stretching, occupying the whole space that it has in my browser. By default, it doesn't come like this. So I will show how I enabled the app to stretch. And then we are going to see containers. So everything in the next video is going to be very important. See you there.